Wherever the majestic music of motor racing can be heard, through the sweeping high-speed curves of Spa, past the sunlit terraces of Monaco, high on the Monza banking, down the historic ribbon of road that is Reims, through the flat, wide-open space of Silverstone, or winding round the unrelenting Nürburgring. One man stands out, cool and calm, amid a split-second world where time is told in tents. Fungia. Born in the little village of Balcacci in the Argentine on the 24th of June 1911, the fourth of a family of six born to Loreto and Arminia Fangio, no man has given more to the essentially 20th century art of motor racing than has the incomparable Juan Manuel Fangio, five times champion driver of the world. Fangio graced his world champion title with a gentle, unassuming charm that endeared him to all. In his rise to fame, he was aided immeasurably by the loyalty and constant encouragement of his wife, Andrena. At the age of 11, the young Fangio went to work in a garage. In 1928, at the age of 17, he rode as a mechanic in a race for Model T Fords. And in 1934, he drove the first race of his fabulous career. His first appearance upon the European scene was at Reims in 1948, at the wheel of a Simca Gordini, but he failed to finish. In 1949, he returned and began his meteoric rise to fame by winning the opening race of the European season, the San Remo Grand Prix on Maserati. Other successes quickly followed on Simca and Ferrari as well as Maserati. In all, he won seven races that year to share the season's honours with Villoresi and the young Alberto Ascari, each of whom also scored seven victories. In 1950, Fangio joined Alfa Romeo, and at Monaco, he set off to score one of his eight victories that year. A nine-car pileup on the first lap cut the field by half, but Fangio, the rising star, came through to win, and this, incidentally, at the age of 39, when many drivers think of retiring. Royal Silverstone, the Grand Prix d'Europe, 1950, was attended by their majesties and provided British enthusiasts with their first sight of Fangio and the invincible Alphas, who finished 1-2-3, despite Fangio's retirement with eight laps to go. In 1951, Fangio became, for the first time, champion driver of the world. The British Grand Prix that year marked a turning point in motor racing history when, for the first time, the Alphas were defeated by Ferrari. In a tremendous drive, Gonzalez on Ferrari countered every effort of his compatriot Fangio, who gave a superlative display of driving on a circuit unsuited to the Alfa Romeo. 